And as COVID-19 hospitalizations continue to rise, medical experts are expecting a big increase after the 4th of July. As of now, here in the state, there are 715 hospitalized patients with C-19. But are we prepared? Should there be a surge? Fox 10 News reporter Toy Thornton has those answers. And Toy, what are some of the local experts that you talk to saying? Well, Byron, doctors say it depends. They say if those cases, those hospitalizations are widespread, then sure, we can probably handle this. But they say if those cases and hospitalizations are confined to an area with already high rates, maybe not. The numbers say it all. That curve hospitalizations are going up consistently now across Alabama. With cases increasing day by day, doctors say it's more crucial now than ever to take this seriously. Right now, Toy, is that we have to prevent this from happening. Okay, we have to anticipate and plan rather than trying to react and resolve when the problem occurs. According to Alabama Public Health, currently there are 715 COVID-19 patients hospitalized. The Alabama Hospital Association says that's out of 8,000 general medical beds, but only 2,100 are currently empty. 300 of those are ICU beds. Now, fortunately, we still are okay in terms of system-wide capacity. We've got plenty of beds, we've got plenty of ventilators, we, we have a, a little less than 300 uh, ICU beds in the state. We're at about 18% of our ICU bed capacity. Doctors fear there will be a spike after the 4th of July weekend, just like what happened following Memorial Day. Infirmary Health Dr. William Admire says, although there isn't a regulation right now, doing the right thing takes personal responsibility. We're in agreement that we should, uh, you know, probably do mass universal masking in public. And this can help spread, to decrease the spread of coronavirus because we know it's from droplets when you talk or yell or scream or sneeze or cough. Again, doctors are urging residents to practice social distancing and to mask up, not just this weekend, but at all times. They say this can help to slow the community spread, which in turn will help us to see the numbers start to fall. But I'm reporting live at University Hospital, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 